You don't need to use multiplication and division. Not when you use math hacks on problems like this, this, and... Oh my goodness! Welcome to Math Hacks, where we try to get you from 1 to 3 while outright skipping the 2. Today, we're going to be cooking up a delicious appetizer for the episodes on multiplication and division coming up soon. Alright, now where was I before the intro sequence? Uh... Oh yeah, oh yeah, I remember. All right, all right. Don't run away yet. Before you click off this video, let me just say that there are some really easy hacks for dividing by 9 and multiplying by 11 that can turn the most baseball-worthy problems into troll-face easy. You'll be able to pretty much auto-solve these problems the moment you see them. So let's just jump on in to 11 times 243. Now, what if I told you that the first digit of the answer and the last digit of the answer were the same as the first digit and the last digit of 243. Unless there's a carry, this rule is true for all multiplications of 11. So, if the first digit is the same and the last digit is the same, what are the numbers in the middle? Well, that's as easy as 2 plus 4 and 4 plus 3. And that's it. The answer is 2,673. Just like that. Well, there's actually one small problem. Let's look at 11 times 47. So we see that the first digit is the same, and the last digit is the same, and then we do 4 plus 7, which gives us 11. Huh? The answer is not 4,117. It's in situations like this where you must foresee the carry. You must foresee that 4 plus 7 will equal something greater than 9. And there's going to be a carry. So the 10 carries over to the 4 and makes a 5. And the 1 from 11 just stays there. So the next time you're doing a problem, make sure to foresee the carry so you don't have to change the answer like we just did. Instead of saying that the answer starts with a 4 and ends with a 7, we can foresee the carry and say it starts with a 5 and ends with a 7. After that, we just do it like normal, and we do 4 plus 7 equals 11, and we only look at the 1's digit, so 1 in the middle. Think about how you used to have to do that. I mean, you used to have to multiply each digit and then add it all together, and, I mean, yuck. Alright, what about division by 9? Let's take a look at 234 divided by 9. This would be annoying to do normally. The good news is, there's a really easy hack. To get the answer, you first have to pull the first digit of 234 up. Unless there's a carry somewhere, that's going to be the first digit of the answer. To get the next digit here, all you have to do is 2 plus 3, 5. And you do the same thing for the next digit. You do 5 plus 4 equals 9. But wait a minute, that doesn't look right. The answer isn't 259, it's 25 with a remainder of 9. Dividing by 9 with a remainder of 9? That just means that we add 1 to the answer, so the answer is 26. How about another example? Let's do 59 divided by 9. We pull the 5 up, and then we do 5 plus 9 equals 14. We have a remainder of 14. 14 is greater than 9, so we just add 1 to the answer to get 6 with a remainder of 5. You have to be a little careful when you have numbers that are really big, such as 7,843. I mean, you start off normally. You pull the 7 up, and then you do 7 plus 8 to get 15. But you put the tens digit of 15 over the 7. 
So, in the end, you'll have to do 7 plus 1 to get 8. Alright, next step, you do 15 plus 4 to get 19, and then you do the next step, which is 19 plus 3 to get 22, and that's your remainder step. 22 is greater than 9, so how many times does 9 fit into 22? It fits in twice. Now all you have to do is add 112 to 759 to get the answer 871. And then you just tack on the remainder of 4 there, and that's the answer. Looking for more hacking power? Do you want to do even more of the impossible? Then hit the subscribe button. Tell your friends and share the power.